birth to a dancing star. Yeah, you are hard. Oh yeah, pretty awesome. You're hard to give birth to a dancing star. That's my favorite. Okay, so, Tata Boss, philosopher, philosopher. What is a ghost? That's an interesting question. We discussed this earlier because of René Descartes. Alright. He called it l'esprit. In his Discours de la méthode, a ghost is when you leave the hay out too long on the farm and then it condenses and it gives rise to gases and like movements and this is a l'esprit. So ghosts smell really bad? I don't think you refer to the smell but to the movement. What do you think about ghosts being like deceased people? Yeah, they got never touched on that. We inherit this from Plato. And interestingly enough, this has been dead for quite a long time, this thought, until it reached Martin Heidegger, who started the thought on ghosts again. And he said, thinking can never be learned, because all the great thinkers, they just thought, and they never attempted to thought. And he said to Plato, to reference a back to you. Of course I have to see that. It's a too long story, isn't it? He said Plato could talk about ghosts because he was in a world of ghosts. He never explained the physical, he only explained the ghosts. Uh, personally, not as a philosopher, but as a, as a human, what is a ghost? I think it's meaning. Meaning? Meaning. Meaning and something else, or just meaning? Because it's pure meaning. Are there meanings? This is the great question. Are there meanings? that have never been seen by man. And when we see them... Yeah, but this is like when a tree falls down and all That's exactly when the tree falls. Oh. All right. All right, abstract. Okay. It's too abstract it's now. It's too abstract now. Now it's just like language, life, death. Hey. Let's go back to the birth of language. You know, you know they say the birth of language was a tombstone. There we go. Okay. Because the, the person died, but he's still kind of there. Because you want to talk about him. Mm -hmm. So you make a tombstone. And the tomb references the person. Because language is only there when what is spoken of is not there. I don't understand. 